Do you know what these brain terms mean in English? You'll find out in this video. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jackie and I'm here to teach you American English. Getting sick is part of being human. So I'm going to start a series to teach you common illnesses and injuries. Since there's a lot to cover, I will focus on the head today. Let's first start with a scenario where a patient is visiting her family doctor because she's not feeling well lately. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. How can I help you? Hi, doctor. My head hurts so much. I've had a headache for two days and it still won't go away. I see. What does the pain feel like? It's a pounding headache, like someone is hitting my head with a hammer. Have you taken anything for it? Yes, ibuprofen and Tylenol, but it hasn't helped. Do you have any sensitivity to light or sound? Yes, the light makes it worse, so I've been keeping my blinds shut. Let's review your medical history. Do you have any history of migraines? No, I've never had a migraine before. Do you have any significant medical history, such as stroke? My grandmother has high blood pressure and suffered a stroke recently, and my grandfather has dementia. Have you had any recent injuries, such as a fall? I did hit my head while playing with my son, but no falls. Why do you ask? Okay, we want to make sure you didn't get a concussion. When you hit your head, did you black out? No, I was awake the entire time. That's good. From your symptoms, it sounds like you're experiencing a migraine. I'm going to prescribe this migraine medication and see if it helps. So, how much do you understand? Don't worry, I'll go over some of the terms with you now. I think most of you probably know this first word. Yes, a headache. And we have different terms to describe different types of headaches. The less serious one, we might call a slight headache or a mild headache. For more serious headaches, we say a bad headache. We also may call it a splitting headache. Imagine that you have so much pain in your head that it feels like your head is going to split in half. Ah! Similar to a splitting headache, we could call it a pounding headache. Pound is a verb that means to hit something really hard repeatedly. So a pounding headache feels like someone is hitting your head repeatedly. Headache. Headache. I have a slight headache, so I'm going to lie down for a bit. I have a slight headache, so I'm going to lie down for a bit. Miss Prism has just been complaining of a slight headache. Sorry, I have a pounding headache. Do you mind turning off the radio? Sorry, I have a pounding headache. Do you mind turning off the radio? I just have a splitting headache, that's all. If your headache is really bad, you may have a migraine. Do you get migraines? I hope not. Migraine. Migraine. She developed a severe migraine and had to cover her eyes from the light. She developed a severe migraine and had to cover her eyes from the light. The migraine went away. Next, if you feel like you're off balance, you feel dizzy. The noun is dizziness. Dizzy. Dizzy. I feel
feel dizzy every time I stand up. I feel dizzy every time I stand up. He became dizzy. That's all. Dizziness. Dizziness. This medication can cause dizziness. This medication can cause dizziness. My husband experienced some pain and dizziness this morning. Another term we use is lightheaded. 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 Megan felt a little lightheaded before giving her speech. Megan felt a little lightheaded before giving her speech. You okay. probably want to lay here for a while so you won't get lightheaded. Vertigo is also a common word that we use. This means you feel like the room is spinning around you. Vertigo. Vertigo. Mom would get vertigo by just looking down from her high-rise window. Mom would get vertigo by just looking down from her high-rise window. I know, I know, sometimes <laughs> I get vertigo. Next, if you lose consciousness for a short time, we call it fainting. Fainted. Fainted. The father fainted after watching his son being born. The father fainted after watching his son being born. Is he okay? He's just fainted. Fortunately, my husband did not faint when I delivered my children. <laughs> we also use the phrasal verb pass out. Passed out. Passed out. The mother passed out after hearing the news about the fatal shooting. The mother passed out after hearing the news about the fatal shooting. I started seeing things, so I passed out. And if you're passing out for a long time, we call it a blackout. This is often caused by alcohol or drugs. You might see two different ways to write blackout. If it's used as one word, blackout, it's a noun. And if it's used as two words, blackout, it's a verb. Blackout. Blackout. Grandpa can't drive anymore because he has frequent blackouts. Grandpa can't drive anymore because he has frequent blackouts. He blacked out last night at the party and couldn't remember a thing. He blacked out last night at a party and couldn't remember a thing. Do you remember anything before you blacked out? Now let's talk about a more serious condition, a concussion. Usually it causes temporary dizziness or confusion. And it happens a lot in Americans' most favorite sport, football. Concussion. Concussion. He got a concussion from the hit during the football game. He got a concussion from the hit during the football game. If you have a concussion, you shouldn't sleep. Now, have you ever had a sharp pain in your head when you're eating something cold like a popsicle? It happens a lot to my husband. Do you know what that's called? Brain freeze. Ah, I hate that feeling. <laughs> Brain freeze. 
brain freeze. My husband always gets a severe brain freeze whenever he eats a popsicle. My husband always gets a severe brain freeze whenever he eats a popsicle. Not soon enough. God, I got a brain freeze. As you get older, it may be harder to remember things sometimes. How do you describe these situations? Here are two terms we commonly use. Senior moment and brain fart. These are silly terms to make fun of ourselves. And it's not nice to use these to actually describe someone else. Senior moment. Senior moment. Oops, I'm having a senior moment and I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oops, I'm having a senior moment and I can't remember what I was gonna say. Sorry, just um, kind of a senior moment. Brain fart. Brain fart. Sorry, I just had a brain fart. Can you remind me of your name? Sorry, I just had a brain fart. Can you remind me of your name? Did you just have a brain fart? And for those of you who want to learn more ways to say, I don't remember, make sure to check out this video here. If someone has true memory problems, they may have dementia. Notice it's not dementia, it's dementia. So the T sounds more like a CH. Dementia. 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 My grandfather developed dementia in his 90s and could no longer live at home. My grandfather developed dementia in his 90s and could no longer live at home. and her grandfather has dementia. He's very forgetful. Alzheimer's is a type of dementia. You'll hear Americans use either word. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. I've been so forgetful lately. I'm afraid I'm getting Alzheimer's. I've been so forgetful lately. I'm afraid I'm getting Alzheimer's. I have Alzheimer's disease. Now, another term that you hear a lot during COVID is brain fog. This can cause confusion, memory issues, and a lack of focus. It's like there's a layer of fog around your brain and you can't think clearly. Have any of you experienced brain fog? Brain fog. Brain fog. His brain fog lasted for months after he recovered from COVID. His brain fog lasted for months after he recovered from COVID. I have too much saliva and brain fog. Another serious illness that affects your brain is a stroke. A stroke is brain damage caused by either a blood vessel that is blocked or bursts in the brain. Stroke. Stroke. My neighbor suffered a stroke and is now paralyzed on the left side of his body. My neighbor suffered a stroke and is now paralyzed on the left side of his body. It was a stroke, a severe stroke. Now, let's hear the scenario one more time and see how much you pick up this time. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. How can I help you? Hi, doctor. My head hurts so much. I've had a headache for two days and it still won't go away. 
I see. What does the pain feel like? It's a pounding headache, like someone is hitting my head with a hammer. Have you taken anything for it? Yes, ibuprofen and Tylenol, but it hasn't helped. Do you have any sensitivity to light or sound? Yes, the light makes it worse, so I've been keeping my blinds shut. Let's review your medical history. Do you have any history of migraines? No, I've never had a migraine before. Do you have any significant medical history, such as stroke? My grandmother has high blood pressure and suffered a stroke recently, and my grandfather has dementia. Have you had any recent injuries, such as a fall? I did hit my head while playing with my son, but no falls. Why do you ask? Okay, we want to make sure you didn't get a concussion. When you hit your head, did you black out? No, I was awake the entire time. That's good. From your symptoms, it sounds like you're experiencing a migraine. I'm going to prescribe this migraine medication and see if it helps. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. How can I help you? Hi, doctor. My head hurts so much. I've had a headache for two days and it still won't go away. I see. What does the pain feel like? It's a pounding headache, like someone is hitting my head with a hammer. Have you taken anything for it? Yes, ibuprofen and Tylenol, but it hasn't helped. Do you have any sensitivity to light or sound? Yes, the light makes it worse, so I've been keeping my blinds shut. Let's review your medical history. Do you have any history of migraines? No, I've never had a migraine before. Do you have any significant medical history, such as stroke? My grandmother has high blood pressure and suffered a stroke recently, and my grandfather has dementia. Have you had any recent injuries, such as a fall? I did hit my head while playing with my son, but no falls. Why do you ask? Okay, we want to make sure you didn't get a concussion. When you hit your head, did you black out? No, I was awake the entire time. That's good. From your symptoms, it sounds like you're experiencing a migraine. I'm going to prescribe this migraine medication and see if it helps. All right. Have you learned any new terms in this video? Leave me a comment and make sure to check out these videos to learn more American English. I hope to see you in the next video. Zai Jin.